Ada has been a rapidly intensifying major hurricane this afternoon on November 2nd as it edges closer to its likely catastrophic landfall in Nicaragua tomorrow. 14.7 degrees north and 82 degrees west as of 2 p.m. Central Time on November 2nd, 2020. This Category 4 storm has winds of 130 miles per hour, that's 210 kilometers per hour, and a pressure estimated at 946 millibars. The storm is moving 9 miles per hour due west and is a CDPS stage 8. Breaking down that stage 8, we have a wind speed of over major, storm size of also just over major, rainfall potential is extreme, and the overall threat to land is also just over major. So again, that is a stage 8 on the CDPS scale, which means catastrophic damage is still possible, and those in the path of the storm should be preparing for the worst right now. Wind speeds are again of 130 miles an hour, that's 210 kilometers per hour. Pressures of 946 at 14.7 degrees north and 82 degrees west. Okay, the storm is currently 80 miles away from Cabo Gracias a Dios, 105 miles away from Puerto Cabezas, 353 from Tegucigalpa, 337 miles away from Managua, and 407 miles away from San Pedro Sula. There is a, still a hurricane warning in effect for the Honduras-Nicaragua border at, uh, and Sandy Bay Serpi. There is a tropical storm warning in effect for Punta Patuca to the Honduras and Nicaragua border. There is a hurricane watch issued for the northeastern coast of Honduras to Punta Patuca to Hon the Honduras and Nicaragua border and there is a tropical storm watch for the northern coast of Honduras from the west of Punta Patuca westward to Punta Castilla. Okay, maximum sustained winds are again of 130 miles an hour or 210 kilometers per hour, which is also what the Saab are running with, but everyone is going uh, with different readings, with the ATCF undercutting with 100 miles an hour, the ADT going with 105 miles an hour, and the NHC are running with 120 miles an hour. Okay, so here's the latest cone from the NHC. We are looking at a major strength landfall, so once again preparations should be underway. But as the storm moves inland, it is expected to weaken to depression status before moving back out to sea over the northern coast of Honduras. The rainfall forecast have once again forecast 15 inches for most areas, but some isolated areas could once again receive up to 3 feet or 900 millimetres. Sea surface temperatures are still strong enough to maintain Category 5 status as the storm moves inland, and a Category 5 landfall should not be ruled out. Okay, storm force winds are 80 to 90 percent uh, along the very eastern coast of Nicaragua and just edging into eastern Honduras, with a 5 to 10 percent chance extending as far as Guatemala and parts of Mexico. Hurricane force winds are at 60 to 70 percent chances over a small part of eastern Nicaragua with a 5 to 10 percent chance over parts of eastern Honduras and central Nicaragua and even a 5 to 10 percent chance over northern Honduras with a small step section extending into Belize. Diagnostic charts are currently saying that the storm is going to continue to strengthen before landfall and like I said, a category 5 landfall cannot be ruled out, but the storm will weaken after that point. Uh, sh the shear is expected to rise significantly from here before a gradual decrease. The sea surface temperatures are expected to drop before landfall, but they still could maintain a category 5 status relative humidity maintaining levels throughout the storm's life, and the storm is once again expected to continue to track westward before a northeastern curve back out to sea. Alright, satellite imagery is next. Now, an eye has formed and the storm is looking rather magnificent. Those in the path of the storm, stay safe.